Our time has come. Monster Hunter Rise is out and exists and so on. And I'm recording this the day the video goes up because I like many games that launch at like 9 p.m. the previous day Pacific time. It's launching at 9 a.m. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I gotta record this in the morning. Does RE Engine stand for Resident Evil Engine? Because it's Capcom. Do they run Monster Hunter on the Resident Evil Engine? Is that what's what's up? Actually, I don't know. I, I've agreed to all sorts of things. My God, they're gonna have my kidneys by Tuesday. So this will be my second Monster Hunter game. I beat the story of Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. And now they got the Switch exclusive. Well, that's an immediate aesthetic shift from the starting screen of the previous game. Amiibos can now be scanned to enter a lottery at the market. Which amiibo? It's like, I mean, I have exactly Uno Amiibo. Do I scan it just right now? <laughs> just rubbing it on my controller. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. All right. <laughs> Maybe it's in the game. Maybe you go to the lottery building in the game or something. Hey, straight to character creation. There we go. All right, let's save. Oh, and there he is with his headband on. Everyone just kind of blinked into existence around me. Really sells the scale of the, like that dog is huge. Actually, my headband kind of works to bring some of my character together. Caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. I really don't see how anyone could have noticed us. It was a perfect display of stealth. That's why we expect great things of you. You're always razor sharp. Well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. What? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on! This is Kimura! We're all practically family here. Besides... Elder Fugin is looking for you. So go get ready. Can't keep him waiting.
Minoto, thank you. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. Uh. <laughs> so it's finally beginning. Hmm. It's been 50 years since the last calamity. But I remember, like it was yesterday. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. I think it's time we paid a visit to the stronghold. We have to protect the village. There's nothing to worry about, Elder Fugen. All of us, everyone in Kimura, we've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Voice acting! So they gave us a hint at some of the future creatures in there, I think. I assume they're gonna be in this game, and that's why they hinted at them. I didn't really recognize a lot of those pictures, but I think I saw Nargakuga? Is that what they called the... the black, kind of bat-like one that has like the red highlights here and there? I think that's Nargakuga. That was a... I think it's a returning monster from earlier games, but I was introduced in Iceborne, and I'm like, that thing's fucking cool! I want to see that guy around more, and I guess I get to. Now, Jorit, rampage it all aside, I've got news for you. Great job. Got a message from the guild this morning, says that you are now a certified hunter. Yeah. You're really living now, Squirt. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you that now you're certified, but don't think I don't stop me. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Master Fugan. I've informed the village of the coming rampage like you asked. That was quick. There's like four people in this town. Were they making mochi earlier? Is that what I saw? Ah, yes, thank you. By the way, Jort, I overheard the news. You're finally an official hunter? Wow, congratulations. All you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo at the gather Hojo Jojo at the gathering hub. Uh but that can wait. First, we need to go shopping. You'll be needing the help of our villagers if you want to succeed out in the field, so follow me. Oh god, that's, that, that just reminded me, oh god, my nightmare character, that's a Powerpuff Girls joke in like, Samurai Warriors or Dynasty Warriors or something that has custom characters, I made Hojo Jojo. <laughs> I completely forgot until just now. Uh, now, where, sh where should we start? Aha, uh -huh, of course, the Marketeer of Mystery, Kagero the Merchant. I'm always interested in the idea that in like hyper complex advanced games it's teaching you how to walk because like boy if you needed that explained you're in for a ride by the time you get to like the first actual gameplay you're gonna be in some trouble and immediately let's piss off us weird oh we can't do settings here yet no look how big Achilles is He's actually... Oh, it's because of the stairs. But yeah, he's almost as tall as I am. That's a lot. And my character looks better with the headband. That's helpful information. The, uh... That would have been helpful during customization. I mean, we're going to change our character's appearance before long anyway. This is just like the iconic... 
marketable gear for this game. But before long, I'll be covered in monster stuff anyway. But this is my ninja appearance. How may I help you? Greetings, Master George. I was just informed that you have been accepted into the guild. Felicitations. Here you will find rest restorative cures and other such items to aid in your hunts. I often diversify my stock and provide special offers for hunters too. I think you'll find them most agreeable. Yeah. Kagero sometimes offers items at half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. Mm -hmm. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale, and when it's on, I swoop in like a Raytheon on the trail. I have often sensed Lady Hinoa's sharp gaze upon my back. Now I know why. <laughs> anyway, Kagero, about those items I asked you to set aside for me. Of course. I'll have them packaged and sent to you at your convenience. Next. And that's a wrap, because the packaging? Ha! Huh? Let's see, uh, where should we go next? Steadfast as Seal. Master Hammond the Blacksmith. Be nice to pay him a visit. Alright. Uh, you're just telling me to look around. Ah! R was supposed to be. Oh, yeah, that is running. I didn't notice the difference of speed at first. This is the blacksmith? Seems like a surprisingly unhyped spot to be getting my gear upgrades after the lava conveyor of the last game. What is it? Inoa, what is it? You can see I'm busy here, preparing for the rampage. Now, now, Master Hem, and this time I've come to tell you the good news. Jord has been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. The village now has a resident hunter that we can all count on. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, I'm the first hunter in this village? Oh. That could be... That's not great news for us if there's going to be a rampage. We've never had anyone who could help. Hmm. I see. Well then, Jord, allow me to congratulate you. The equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter in part, and can make or break a hunt. It's what represents our village, too. A hunter who can't wield tatar Tatara steel isn't fit to fly the banner of Kamara. You'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting and refining gear, we can talk about that later. Oh, since we're here, that reminds me. You can hire buddies at the Buddy Plaza up ahead. Is that what they're calling the Gathering Hub now? The Buddy Plaza? <laughs> So friendly for a threatening looking forest opening. And Master Hammond's grandson, L Iori, I almost fell for it again, manage manages that place. Why don't you go talk to him later? Almost had a repeat of the Yakuza episode that people complain about every day. Hmm. Capering around with felines and canines makes you wonder where I went wrong. Really? I think buddy handling is a quite notable profession, personally. Oh, the buddies are the canines and felines. Anyway, Master Hammond, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. It is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Okay, just one more stop and we're done. Let's see. Was this tutorial in the game last time? Sweeter than sweet dango. It's gotta be Yomogi, the chef's tea shop. I think they are making mochi. It's so stretchy. The wire bug gauge is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Performing wire dashes or silk bind attacks will deplete this gauge. That tutorial has no context. It just popped up. What is a is a wire dash? What I had in the last game where I'd connect to like a bug and fly up to it? Oh, Jorit! Hey, I heard the good news. You're a certified hunter now. Recognized by the guild and everything, congrats! Mm -hmm. Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. What <laughs> did you say to me just now? You'll, you'll never taste anything yummier in your whole life. And they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Sure. Yomugi's bunny dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I can't stop eating them on the job. Yeah. Oh. Oh, just thinking about them gets me all excited. 
I don't like the ellipses followed by excited after you talked about juices flowing, and... Ahem. Yomogi, as usual. Uh, please and thank you. Uh, the usual, please and thank you. Of course, Hinoa. One super duper mecha denko order coming right up. Thank you. Jorit, I had a great time on our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying me. I had things I ordered from Master Hammond and Kagro delivered to your item box. Surprise, it's just a little something to help me uh, for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, Kay. Huh? What about the bunny dango? Sorry, those are all mine. I'd share, but a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> hey, you should equip a weapon already. I want to see what you look like in your full hunter getup. Oh, I didn't, I'm not even noticing when people change who's talking. Great idea. How about you try that on that long sword? I just got you. I don't want to. No. No, I don't want the long sword. Damn it. <laughs> well, what is that texture over my face? I look like I'm a carpet. Is that what the shadows look like in this game? That's trippy. So cool. That gear really suits you, Jorit. You must feel a ton braver now, right? R uh, ride that high over the gathering hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. Once you talk to Master Hojo and get registered, you can start going out on real life hunts as a li real life hunter of Kamara. Exciting! Go visit the hub. I have to wait here for my order, so off you go. I'll be in the usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Come on. Did the last game have a hub tutorial like this? I don't think it. I don't remember it at least, but that was, that was a while ago. I still can't invert my my fucking camera. <laughs> can I change my weapon? Ah, yeah, wow, this is an on-rails tutorial. I've actually never used the longsword before, and I was not about to start. But they're gonna make me. It's the most popular weapon by a huge margin. One in five players uses one. Which is double the popularity of second place. That's probably why they defaulted to it when, when, when sword and shield seems like the more obvious thing to treat as a default in this game. Although I can see why thematically, given this setting, you might want to go with either Dual Blades or the Katana. <laughs> well, hello there, George. You sure look for uh, you sure took forever to get here. I thought I was going to croak. I'm on a frog, get it? You get it? I'm a funny jokester man. Is that a frog? I can't really tell what that is. You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the guild master of this exceptional gathering hub. What's that? Your guild registration? Oh yes, well, I was getting to it. I was getting to it, to it, before you interrupted me. What? What? Do it? Is it, is it a frog thing? Like, do it, do it. Does he do it? Does he do that? He's doing it again, yeah. Had you let me finish, I would have told you that we, we were no longer do things that way. Get with it, with it, young hunter. Joho! Uh, do you talk like a frog or a skaven? What's the trick here? I don't, have, I don't have enough voice acting from you to know what this is going for, honestly. No test to, uh, no test to take up or papers to stamp. Just my okay and you're on your way. And with it, you are now officially a hunter. And not just any hunter, no, a hunter of Kamara Village. Is it, I like to think this is the past version of Kamurocho. This is all part of the Yakuza timeline. Accept a quest from our dearest Minoto and go hunt some monsters, Johoho! About that, as much as I'd like to, I have to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hinoa first, so we can explain quests to you? I, I don't need... unless it's different, I don't need this. Who's... Utsushi. Utsushi. Yo, Ace! That's probably about right. I just overheard the gnarly news. Awesome! Before you run off to see Hanoa, pop over here a sec. There's, oh my god, everybody wants me at the same time. I gotta check you out in your, in your new threads. But I didn't get to pick these ones. I just customized everybody for like an hour and a half. And then I'm wearing threads I didn't pick. Even that's not what I picked for my dog. They had me customize the appearances, and then they're like, And now your cat wears weird ear things. I'm like, I didn't choose any of these things. 
Yeah, it's like an armored tadpole that looks like- Oh, it's got little chippy teeth. And it wants the mochi or whatever the hell is in front of its face. It looks like it might use the skeleton of just that most adorable guy that eats lava from the last game. Sorry, I'm, there's so many names. I don't remember them all. Oh, it's the arena. Looking good, Ace. Grass on becoming a hunter. All that work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. <laughs> A thing that exists in-universe. The action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. Let's try it out. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture of me. Once you take my picture, let me see it. We're going to... Okay, do we need a camera tutorial before I play a single hunt? <laughs> I don't know if that's... Oh god, it's four pages. Okay, uh... Pictures we've taken using the camera but on the action thing, yeah. Do, do, do. There's different. <laughs> There's a character view and a Kahoot view. What? The character view is first person, Kahoot view is like an, a group view. You have your pets take it for you, and they can do poses so that you can. Yeah. It's a lot. Okay, uh... Camera. If it isn't Kimura's brightest uh, I, 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 I wanted to press A, but you're in my... Keep it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta get away from you. you. Use the camera. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I walk around in first person. That's how... Is there a zoom? There is a zoom. Oh, it's very sensitive. Okay. Dogtail, no. Ah, fuck, I pressed B. No! What have I done? Trying too hard to frame this. Let's just go. Yeah, aw, oh, yeah. You're more important. Dog? Look at me, Achilles. Achilles. Achilles, heal. No. Hello? Oh yeah, that's one handsome devil, Joe. Hey, now you've gotten now you've got acquainted with the action bar. I think it's quest time. But if you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen them up. It's just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Iori and all of his furry friends hang out. You can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skills there. It's a great place to warm up before a big hunt. All right, I'll quit holding you up. Hinoa is still waiting for you, isn't she? Hunter info. Hints, information. Yeah, it's it's the tutorial place where you get more notes about things, as it, as was in the last game. Oh, it's Mino Minoto. Hinoa, the quest maiden. That's her name. There's the canteen. Oh, I can use the item box now. Okay, so is the tutorial over? All right, so manage equipment, change equipment, armor blade. No, so we did a poll, and I went. Up, I, did, I specifically excluded the long sword because I wasn't very interested in it. And I've already, if, if you're new here, I already used the great sword, and the hammer, and the insect glaive, and the hunting horn, and the dual blades in Monster Hunter World. So you can see them there if you want to, and just uh, link. You can find that playthrough elsewhere. Uh, I did a poll between Lance, Switch Axe, Charge Blade, and Gun Lance, and Gun Lance got almost half of the total votes. So, I guess you guys want to see Gun Lance next, and uh, it is obviously, I'm happy with all those options because they're all things I wanted to check out next. And so, this was the winner of the ones I wanted to check out. That is a bulky ass shield. Thing does a lot to cover up every element of my, of my character from the starting perspective. So I'll, I'll look into how to play it well more later, but for this early hunt or two, we're just gonna flail a bit and just kind of see what we can figure out on our own. And I'll learn, I'll learn more about how it works as we go. Oh my god, I can finally do this. Uh...
Ooh. You can customize the camera distance during hunts. That probably comes in handy. Up, down, is inverted, left, right, or normal. There we go. Pipe three, that's where you go. That's confusing. Ah, fuck, I said I pressed B again. God damn it. A camera. Oh, aiming. There we go. I have to, that was the, that was when I'm aiming. You have to, you can set them both separately. There we go. So I didn't, I didn't hit B, or if I did, it's still registered. Where is Hinoa the, que the quest maiden? Um, that's not my map. Oh god. Where'd they map the map to? It used to be the PS4 touchpad, which isn't a thing anymore. I don't have like a reticle pointing me there. She's just outside. Hey, yeah. Let's go. She just went, hey, listen, I heard that. Is she that's is that Hinoa? How big the dog is. Like usual with mounts though, like using it around here is a little awkward because he has a turning radius to him. But uh, in the wild, it'll make more sense. It's a good day for a hunt. Oh, Jorin, already completed your hunter registration. Great. I retrieved your kahoot from Elder Fugan earlier. It's so cute. You're gonna love it. What's a kahoot? Is it? Do I also have a? Do I also have a an owl? <laughs> Kohoots, like buddies, will help you out during battles, but in their own little way. Oh, it's a, we have an owl in addition to having a dog. We're just gonna have an entire ridiculous pun entourage. Kohuts are creatures that are beloved throughout Kamara. The village elder gave you a Kahoot to look after as a pet. If you call your Kahoot from your action bar, it'll come and perch on your arm. If a symbol pops up while you have a Kahoot on your arm, push it to have your Kahoot take flight. Maybe something will happen. This feature's unavailable in multiplayer. The pet menu can be opened while a Kohut is perched in your arm. There you can swap out outfits and feed your feathered friend. If you feed your Kohut, you will, uh, they will greet you once you return from your quest. Your Kohut won't come to greet you in multiplayer. This is a, There's so many... Okay. Well, how about we give your new feathery friend a name? Oh god, I have to name another animal. Oh. Oh. Uh. I'm pretty sure I already know where, to, where I can go with this that'll match the other ones. There we go. Boom. Alright, didn't have to think about this one as hard. Uh -huh. Anyway, since my sister is swamped at the moment, I'll go ahead and give you uh, the quest rundown instead. So I didn't get to customize my Kahoot. Sure. Now that you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quest that me and Minoto have in our quest list. Some of these quests, called Key Quests, have been specially posted by the Hunter's Guild. So if you make a point of completing Key Quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. Uh, oh, and one last thing. Here, take this... Pedalance? Minoto and I, and I made? What are all these things? There's so many things. I just want to get my first fight started. <laughs> As you may be aware, petalances are protection charms woven from a local plant called a Sending Spring. Yep. Pollen carried carried by sp spirit birds will enhance your petalance, strengthening your abilities. Treat it with care. What are you saying to me right now? Oh god, there's another animal of a Disney princess. A petalance is a type of charm bracelet made of woven sending sprigs. In Kamara Village, they are typically worn by hunters. Like any other piece of gear, you can only equip one at a time. Petal lances absorb fragrant pollen from any spirit birds you encounter during a quest, granting you special status boosts. You can switch out your petal lance from an item box. 
So you cast Spirit Burst to Bad Dead. Sure. Just like a general thing that I prefer is if you have these many mechanics to layer on for your player, maybe let them do like one fight per mechanic. Like, they, oh, let's go fight Jagras. And then it's like, ah, oh, wow, let me tell you about your fun owl friend. And then you go fight the next thing. And they're like, oh, what about Petalances? Like, pace it. I haven't even seen gameplay yet, and it's like, here's your 75th new mechanic to learn about, which you're gonna forget about, because you don't have any context for it, and you didn't even have a chance to learn about the previous mechanic, because you still haven't played the game. Oh, I think Minota should be wrapping up her report right about now. And I need to get back to work myself. Once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Hold on, you can't go per-rancing off before- Senri the Mailman is a cat? Hold on, you can't go prancing off before my introduction. Another character, you thought we were ready, but we're not. Jord, meow hello, and grats on becoming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I, Senri the Mailman, have quite the important information for you. Shouldn't Jord already know this? Doesn't he live here? It's just the mail. This isn't like a new mechanic for him. You'll need to go through uh, me to meet up with fellow hunters, so make sure to stop by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I think that about wraps everything up. I think you said that four people ago. Time to start monster hunting. Will am I though? Is that true? I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> I, I, my my trust has been drained repeatedly at this point. Let's see, is there a a nice zip line that connects all of the different parts of the game to each other so I can quickly just zip between locations? So I can just teleport to like whatever place I can do to, to train. So you can toggle each part of your body. Well, I assume you can't change the display settings. That's like turning... It's the idea that I can just turn... This must just be customization for here, right? Like I can turn my weapon off so that it's not showing on me the whole time when I'm running around. Which is kind of nice. My hair clips! Through my top. Oh. This ponytail's gonna cause some problems for me, isn't it? Every time you- every time you, you choose a, a style and hairstyle. I still hold this extra town. Where does that go? Is that my house? Senior Hunter Hanenaga. Yo, Hanenaga's the name and hunting's my game. I came to this lovely village to work as a hunter, but just because I'm new at town doesn't mean I'm new to hunting. So you're Kamara's new, hunt Kamara's new hunter, eh? I guess that makes you my responsibility. Well, look, I'm no, not big into hand-holding, so just follow my lead and you'll be fine. You're not big into hand-holding, you're alone there. And here's the buddy place. There's a friendly dog. A big fake monster, I guess, that you like pretend to fight. Is that what that's there for? And I think that's the boat that's supposed to take me to the training area. Cause I just I just want to see the moveset of my weapon real quick. That just seems like a reasonable thing to try. Greetings and salutations! I am Shiru Bay and I run the Buddy Plaza here. Welcome! Meow that you're a bona fide hunter, allow me to welcome you to the Buddy Plaza. Butter, buddy, hander, Eo, buddy Handler Iori will give you the rundown of all things Buddy. You hire a Buddy, you'll get a trusty battle companion to aid in all of your hunting endeavors. Feline Chief Korog, uh, Kogarashi is top cat when it comes to managing the meow scenarios. <laughs> God damn it. You can count on any buddies you have on standby to hunt for materials while you're hunting monsters. This ferry goes to the training area. What? Just because you're a hunter now doesn't mean you can't can start slacking on training. And Rondine here is a trader from outside Kamara. Every good hunter needs a stock of good items. No matter how obscure, she'll probably have what you're looking for. for. <sighs> You'll find the buddy board here. Here you can manage your buddies. They're more, uh, they're more like it. There are more like it all over the village. Maybe you've already seen one. 
If you hire any buddies from Iori, you can manage them here. Anyway, every day the buddies here work their tails off to get better and stronger. That's about all I've got for you. If you want to know more, you'll have to talk to everyone yourself. This is the area where all buddy-related facilities happen. Uh, I think we mostly already covered this. So the Shishi must be the, the boat that comes in and then leaves for days at a time based on how many hunts you've done, which was a thing in the last game. And then the buddies have the paw tail raider expeditions is what that stuff is. So that's all familiar-ish. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff right now, though, because I just want to get to the training place. I'll layer that on as per my own advice later, and we'll investigate that stuff. Yep, that... Is that the new hit this log? The log is a big fake monster. I like how it moves, even though it clearly isn't like going to create like attacks for me to dodge or anything. Oh hey, targets to shoot. With your bow. And bow gun. And sometimes, woo, that's a different health bar and everything up there. Looks a little bit more akin to the older ones that were like really big and chunky and showy. They tried to like hide it away desperately in the in Monster Hunter World, which I didn't love because some, they often were like hiding it from me. I'm like, I, I, what does my meter tell me? Let's see. I don't think there's anything to look into here. Okay. Well, this is a bit more than it was last time as a location. The basic combo is... Oh, here... Whoa! It starts off looking like a scythe? That's three attacks and a shelling. There you go. I can put them together. Ooh. Oh, now I need to reload. How do I reload? ZR and A. There you go. The right, this is the rising slash. The lateral thrust, it's just a stab, basically. Shelling, you just fire. Ooh, then it stabs into somebody and does the worm strike cannon. So I have two different ammos that I need to learn about, basically. I have like a big spike, and then I have little shots. So to the right of my durability, you can see six bullets that I'm spending with this attack. But then this happens, and that only explodes if I have this thing loaded. So this will take some getting used to. There's going to be a learning curve here. Strong combo is... Duh. 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 Nope. Okay. I fucked it up a bit. Duh. 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 I guess. A guard thrust. So it's like a combo break little, like... Get it? <laughs> Get it? So this is guard. I just strip have a shield, which will be a change of pace in its own way. Ooh. I can charge up a big scary attack with my when I'm blocking. And at any point I can reload. It seems like reload might be specific to Oh, I don't have anything to reload at all right now. But I can also keep thrusting while I'm like this. And they give they give me different options, so I can be like guard thrust fire. Oh no. Nope. Says shelling. I guess I have to let let go to do that. Yeah, because if because you, if you're holding a, if you're still blocking your load, so you can guard thrust. But then if I let go of guard, I can immediately fire, and then just kind of go a bit. Poof. This is gonna take. <laughs> this is a super weird move set from what I've seen before. This will take some getting used to for sure. This is a, definitely a trip. So X and A is rising slash here, but when you're guarding, it's Wyvern's fire. But only if you're loaded. Or... 
No? It must require something. Oh, I bet I'm charging up. The There's a meter under my spike. Which I'm probably by... Which I'm probably charging up. Or I'm not. It does not seem to be going up right now. Ooh. Are you okay? What have I... What have I done? Wow. This is going to take some getting used to. Oh, maybe that slowly... It looks like it's going down over time. So I, I guess that's my slowly... Dim, uh, oh. oh god. What have they done? So you have this bar here. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. How do I... Oh god, this entire control scheme has changed. I'll have to look at this between episodes at some point. So there's a, there's a gesture bar that's assigned to the D-pad. Then there is... Separately... If you hold L, you can customize your item bar. But then you use Y and A to switch between them? So that's different. So this- so like stuff like... Huh. Maybe you can probably customize this if, if it doesn't make sense yet. And then it becomes your Y ability. Which itself is a little weird. So you press Y and A, which are the left and right face buttons to scroll between these items. But then, then the one that was previously left for going left and right in the menu is then your use button. That's gonna take some getting used to. In addition to the weapon getting, taking some getting used to. All right. Well, I'm not as ready as I thought I might be, if I'm being honest. This weapon seems like it's gonna be a challenge to get used to. Let's just take on our first hunt, which might, even, might not even be real monsters. It might be like, go fight this Stegosaurus that stands around. All right, we're still too places deep. That's a fast loading time, by the way. I'll be really impressed if the loading times are fast going into the world, because they were monstrously <laughs> slow in the last game. Well, hello there, Jorrit. Ready to get into some quests? Well, you have great timing, because a quest just came in for you. Master Utsus Utsushi has called for you. Looks like it's time for some basic training. He was so pumped up about being a real instru instructor. He kept going on about being ready <laughs> being ready to thrash. And it seems Elder Fugan may have a hand in it as well. Although it was to, I was told to keep that part a secret. <laughs> I suspect they've been racking their brains to think of a way to help your hunting career. How sweet. I've added Utsushi's request to the quest list. Accept it when you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? When you are, just head over to the quest gate to begin. Now let's dive into the quest list. A special quest has been added. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new to look into there. It's just how to accept a quest. Back to basics. LB and other things are here. What's the actual foe? Complete his tasks. It's a little vague. I recommend I, rec I recognize Kelby and Gajau and Feline and At maybe just those ones. I'm not sure. Yo, Ace. A hunter's never too good to go over the basics. That's why I've got a quest for you where you'll, you'll revisit all the hunting fundamentals. I'll be waiting for you at the Shrine Ruins. See you there. Was she just? I think she was talking at the same time and is making my brain break. Oh, I forgot to eat. <gasps> I forgot to eat at the canteen and see what the new animation is. Hey, that's an Argacuga, right? Look at the little cat with the hammer. The same one it uses for Mochi. It's gonna use it in combat. Hmm. 
These halls of worship, once so bustling, now home to monsters, stalking and rustling. Hunters beware, not wait, but despair. Huh. I kind of wonder if that was a haiku in Japanese, but here it was just like, I don't know, let's make a poem, I guess. <clears throat> make it rhyme, at least. Yo, Ace, what's up? Accepted my quest, huh? Nice. Come over here and we'll get started. Hanging in there? Congrats again on making a hunter. A whole new life awaits. Heh, <laughs> I can see it in your eyes that you're ready to thrash, but let's do a little quest refresher first, cool? Let's start with our camp here. Oh god, here we go. This is your t I'm pretty sure they didn't do this in the last game, and maybe any other game, because that was supposed to be the one that was, like, more hand-holdy than ever before, wasn't it, Monster Hunter World? This is your tent. Here you can change the equipment and weapons, or organize your items. If you want to bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch out your gear inside. That over there is the supply box. It's full of useful items that'll aid you in, during your quest. Mm -hmm. And everything in there is provided by the guild, so feel free to take and use whatever you want. And what's and that's it for the camp. Let's move on to the next part. I'll meet you down by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on your map. Make sure your inventory is in order. Mostly a recap of what we've already covered. There's a map. Which just looks apparent. It's apparently just a big, big vertical blob, basically. I think this is mostly even if I read all this, it's not going to stick because of the way it's presented. So we'll just go ahead. Oh, here's the canteen, but I can't use it. I was like, I'll settle for at least seeing the canteen animation, but not this time. That's not usable. What's up with you? Whoop! Whoop! Up I go. Hey! And a bitter bug is the first thing I looted in the whole game. There we go. Okay, so the annoying bing bing noise is... the notifications. At least it's not... the handler yelling at me over and over again like last game. Saying the whole line out loud. I've already cra I've already picked up an item before game. Yeah, there's a crafting list. Hup! You can pick up items and then use them to craft things. Never before seen mechanics. Good to see you. Hey, up here. All right, let's talk wire bugs. Those bodacious bugs are a must in any hunt. You already used one, but I'm going to explain them anyway. Use them right, you'll be able to zip around pretty much anywhere you want to go, even on top of this boulder. Give it a shot. A variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. Perform rapid aerial maneuvers with wire dash, whip out weapon-specific gambits with skill with silk bind, or gain composure with wire fall. <clears throat> An exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time, and, can you, and then can be used again. The degree of consumption and time needed to recover vary for every action. Capturing a wild wire bug will temporarily increase the gauge by one. A technique commonly used by Kamara hunters, uh, use wire bugs to zip through the air and quickly re reach your target. When holding, so it's like the uh, it's like the uh, the grabby claw they added the clutch claw in the last game. Now it's going to be wire dashing apparently. There's different versions of it. <clears throat> While holding blah 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 blah. Uh, let's see. So LZ and X to move vertically. Press A to move around. Press Z, press ZR to move where you're aiming. This will just take practice. You can do wall running. Each weapon has its own unique silk bind action using a wire bug. These cannot be used with your weapon sheathed. To use it, draw your weapon. So hold Z, L, and then press X or A. Each weapon has its own skill, so experimentation is recommended. 
Oops. I didn't draw it correctly. Alright, oh, yes. There we go. Wait, I, I already... I'm already losing track of the controls. So ZL... Oh, right. I'm mixing up a, X and Y because of the... Yeah. Whoa. So that's what I... So that's what I can do as a, uh... Gun Lancer. Oh no, that was a cooldown. Or oh yeah, that wasn't the gun. That wasn't the gun lancer move. That was the uh, everybody move. They just take him out. You all right, Ace? Why are bugs giving you trouble? If you're struggling, hold Z L while aiming with R, and once your reticle is pointed at the right spot, press Z R. Don't sweat it, yo. Don't sweat it, yo. You'll be a master of wire bugs in no time if you keep practicing. I gotta get used to the naming scheme of Nintendo buttons like ZL and whatnot. Uh, next, uh, let's talk to buddies. Today, I brought my Palico and Palamute, Flash and Rumble with me. So he's also good at naming scheme. Eventually, I'll just have it down to muscle memory and won't have to think about what they're calling all the buttons anyway. They'll be lending you a paw for this part of the training. First, try mounting Rumble, my Palamute. Palamutes are swift as the wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking buddy. Uh -huh. Alright, I'll be waiting for you up the trail. Meet me there. When accompanied by a Palamute, you'll have access to... yeah. I've already read one before. Rid one is not a word. Well, rid is a word, but not that word. They, they can attack. You can drift while dashing with ZL and left stick. That'll take some practice to get those controls down a bit. So you'll be holding down R1, then L2 and left stick, basically. <clears throat> but you can use consumables while running. Give it a try. Why do I have to use your... I already have my own Palamute. I don't need your Palamute. Listen up. Yeah. All right. Drifting. What the fuck? <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't you? Drifting. Obviously. Alright. Hope there's an attack. Good to see you. Hey, check out this yellow spirit bird. If you touch one, its pollen will enhance that good luck charm you're wearing, the petalance. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your petalance and boosts your stats. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the spirit birds of, of other colors will boost your stats. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. <clears throat> oh, I feel like saying in that context makes it sound like, like that's pretty nasty. Like, not, like, gnarly. I don't know, it's one thing when it was like a, like a weird gross membrane on a bug, but now that it's a bird, I'm like, am I, am I murdering this bird to squeeze the juices out of it? I'm a little distressed. I feel like the bug just had a weird sack of, like, sap or whatever it was carrying around and I was stealing it or something. The effect's only active during the current quest, but you can be sure, sure as shurikens that they're worth using. Oh, and that's a cloth fly over there. Cloth flies are one of many creatures you'll come across out in the field. We call these little guys endemic life. The, power, the, the, the powder these floaty friends spread can boost your defense. A lot of other endemic life out there, you can boost your hunts in different ways. Have a look around for other endemic life, and then play around with them to see other kinds of effects they have. Okay, just a bit more, follow me- oh my god, just, just let me fight one thing. <laughs> you can tell me about things along the way, I swear, you're allowed to do that. <clears throat> it's just that it's it's so much overload of information that I will immediately, even if I read every word of this, I'll immediately dump 80% of it out of my brain because it's not actually being incorporated in any way. That's a- there's a cool cat, if that is a cat. Is that a flash fly? But now it's a flash bird or something? No, it's still a flash fly. I just flashed- I just- just blinded my- my dog. That's not my dog. What do we have here? I can gather from the back of the dog. That seems a little uncomfortable, honestly, but okay. Boom. Attention, 
attention, please. Yes, sir. Yo, my favorite pupil. Right on, Ace. Got the hang of writing pallet mutes already? Uh -huh. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. You can uh, and you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. Mm -hmm. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Okay, looks like we've got ourselves some monsters nearby. Mm -hmm. How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your stats while you're out in the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. It'll be t it, uh, it's time to really get the show on the road. Green bar is your health. Yellow bar is your stamina. Let's see, did I miss that bird back there? I think it was supposed to increase my stamina. Or did it just disappear? Did I... Maybe I used it and forgot <laughs> already? I look at this palamute and I'm just thinking of, uh... The one from the Thunder Dog that they added in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Gnarly! A pack of Izuchi! Alright, there's three of them. Go take them out for me. Hmm. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They can be skillful and ruthless. Right. Just remember your training and you'll be golden, like my dog. Now, ready your weapon, nice and steady, and take them down one attack at a time. It's gonna be four hours before the game starts for real, isn't it? <laughs> Up. Explode, please. <laughs> hey, Dick. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> hey, hero. Sweet. Awesome job there, Ace. Why do you talk like this? Oh, and don't forget to carve harvest. Uh, uh, don't forget to carve to harvest from mo materials from monsters. Uh, they can be used to upgrade uh, for upgrades at the smithy. Mm. When you're done carving, come and see me. That And everyone was blinded. Oopsie. Uh, pressing every wrong button. Well, time to get my hands dirty. Sometimes I just need like a, a a setting for idiots that can't filter personal, button inputs between different platforms. Well, time to get my hands dirty. I just I've played a fair number of Nintendo games all the time and I just cannot get it straight that the buttons are the other way around. It fucks with me every time. I'm like, please, just, just lie to me. <laughs> just tell me the other buttons. Hell, tell me PlayStation buttons. Th those are different enough that I just don't have any crossover. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, triangle. I know. I've been waiting for you. Just as I expected from my star pupil, this was an incredible hunt. You're my, if I'm your, I'm your star pupil, but I'm apparently the only, like, I'm apparently the only hunter in town. And you're not. <laughs> there's, if there's something you think you could have done better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. <laughs> now then, let's head back to camp. It looks like we're right, we're kind of far away from it. No big deal, yo. Use fast travel, and you'll be back to camp in no time. I gotta go ahead. See you there. So minus is the map. Uh. Oh, you hold minus. I was wondering where the hell they put it. You smoke bomb? They're heavy in the shinobi aesthetic right now. Did you just come out of the ground? Is that a thing dogs can do in this game? Congratulations, you completed the basic training quest. Now for 17 more lessons, and then once you hit enter hour 7, you'll fight your first monster. I'm now proud to send you out in the field as a full-fledged hunter. You've learned well, but keep in mind, Elder Fugan uh, and I expect much better of you. I think by now we'd already done the crazy Zora Magdaros like scripted sequence that was like not very gameplay y, but it was like hype kind of. Then they dumped me in the opening area of the forest, and then I encountered a Jogros getting its ass beat by a by a an Anginath or something like that, and it was just like, oh my god! And that was just all on my way to town. Like <laughs> I don't know what happened in a few years, but like their their way of setting up an exciting opening is really diminished. 
<laughs> I don't know. If you ever feel like going over your basic training again, all you need to do is accept this quest from Hinoa. I'd be happy to guide you through it again. There are many things I want changed about Monster Hunter, including just like like better multiplayer, like the way that it works because it's clunky and infuriating. Like, oh yeah, you can do these story missions with your friends, but only after you see a cutscene, and you have to run around and trigger the cutscene, then invite your friends, and you can only get progress in one person's world at a time, or blah 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 blah. Uh, and like other weird messes, or like some of its menus are a nightmare because there's so many layers like of stuff added onto one Franken Franken menu over the course of decades or not, not decades but all, like a decade but a, a more handholdy time consuming intro tutorial was probably not the thing I was asking for uh we'll be there soon not in episode 1 apparently I think those are better loading times, though. Well, Jorid, I see Utsushi's little quest was no match for you. Ha! I expected nothing less. I mean, I'm apparently certified to go hunt monsters. I feel like those things barely qualified. I'd one-shot them all. What you learned today is the very essence of hunting. Wherever the hunt takes you, those lessons will always hold true. Now, Hinoa should have some one-star quests ready for you. Well, get to it, and happy hunting. Alright. I'll see you guys next episode, where hopefully the true Monster Hunter experience begins. Except for that people will say that that's actually what... That doesn't count to high rank, so... You know what I mean. Oh, thank God. Move around village. Directly to the Bloody Plaza training area. Oh, it's just in your pause menu. That's great. Don't even have to go find the weird zip spot. Which wasn't that big of a problem before, but this is great. Yeah.